Now, elevated blood cholesterol increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease. This study looked at people at midlife with high cholesterol and followed them along to see that they were two to three times as likely to get Alzheimer's disease. Cognitive impairment and amyloid plaque increased with higher cholesterol levels. Now there's two ways that high cholesterol in the blood can create more amyloid plaque. One is by increasing the number of beta and gamma secretase enzymes that create the amyloid plaque. And two is by contributing to the lipid rafts on the cell membranes in the brain where the amyloid precursor is to allow more of it to become amyloid plaque. So it's a good idea. What we did in our trial was we asked people to reduce their dietary saturated fat to 6% of calories or 12 grams for a 2000 calorie diet to lower blood cholesterol. This study was reported in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease in 2017, one of the better studies. A high saturated fat and cholesterol diet increased cholesterol in neuronal lipid rafts. And as I mentioned, it activated both gamma and beta secretase, increasing amyloid beta release from amyloid precursor proteins. This results in learning and memory impairment. The way it works is the amyloid precursor protein is snipped off by these two secretase enzymes in a 42 length amyloid plaque. This amyloid beta, it's not plaque yet. Now it's amyloid beta peptides. That goes on to be aggregated. The aggregates of this are the most toxic to the brain and kill off brain cells and damage neuronal connections. Then it, it becomes aggregated into the plaque in the brain, which can house uh, advanced glycation end products, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. But I think the key here is that you wanna keep your saturated fat and cholesterol reduced. High cholesterol is one of the factors that increases neuroinflammation. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more today about oxysterols, oxidized cholesterol that increase brain inflammation. They impair cognition and they're increasing the production of this toxic amyloid beta peptides. Now here is oxysterols. The foods that have a high amount of cholesterol be eggs, very high, meat, fish, poultry, ghee, and dairy products. Um, not listed here are shrimp and some others that are very high. Oxysterols are oxidized cholesterol. They're neurotoxins. They increase brain inflammation and amyloid beta in Alzheimer's disease, also increase Lewy bodies in Parkinson's disease. There are three sources from cooked animal foods, solution, don't eat them. From the breakdown of excess cholesterol, solution, don't eat excess saturated fat, you won't have excess cholesterol. And three, from oxidation of cholesterol in the body. Now, sometimes the body needs to oxidize cholesterol. For example, in the brain, if there's too much cholesterol, cholesterol cannot be removed from the brain intact. So the brain can change it to become an oxysterol so it can be moved through the blood-brain barrier and get out of the brain. And this is a beneficial aspect. However, if your body is loaded with cholesterol and low in antioxidant, then you're going to be creating a lot of oxysterols which can then travel to the brain and damage it. When your blood levels of cholesterol are too high, it's converted into 27 hydroxycholesterol. This is an oxysterol. And then that can be transported from the liver into the brain very easily. And it contributes to oxidative stress in the brain, which means killing off brain cells. During the course of Alzheimer's disease, the brain loses about half of its brain cells. We don't want this to happen to younger folks who wanna keep their brain sharp or to older folks who don't wanna to progress to Alzheimer's disease. When you look at the atherosclerotic plaque on the inside of arteries, what you see is 20 times more cholesterol than in healthy inside of arteries and 45 times more oxysterols. They, the oxysterols increase the arterial plaque and they can make it more prone to rupture. If you eat a meal high in cholesterol, such as let's say a shrimp omelet would be about the highest thing I've measured in cholesterol. 
this is going to create a huge amount of cholesterol in your arteries, which can lead to cholesterol crystals shown on the top right of the slide. They're very sharp and they can slice that plaque in your arteries so that it breaks off, can create a heart attack, a stroke, or vascular dementia. Be better not to eat cholesterol from any external sources at all. We certainly have no need for cholesterol. And uh, you know, the amount of cholesterol we make every second is 70 quadrillion molecules. Is that amazing or what? So this oxysterol, it creates vascular dementia. And two ways that we can help with this is vitamin E and carotenoids to slow cholesterol oxidation. And of course, no dietary cholesterol at all. This is from a 2021 study in, uh, let's see, this is uh, Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience, that's right.